Hi guys, this is Evan McDonough with Brain Powder Kid, and today I want to talk to you guys about magnesium and how important it is. So just to give you some background first, uh, magnesium is really important. It is the second most abundant mineral in your body. So also, uh, when it comes to deficiencies, uh, besides vitamin D, magnesium is the second most um, prevalent deficiency that people have. So not a lot of people are getting an adequate enough, adequate amounts of magnesium. So it's really important. Um, and that's because even in the developed countries, because people they'll eat uh, grains and, and um, other foods that are non-leafy, green leafy vegetables and stuff like that. And if you don't eat those green leafy vegetables that have higher amounts of magnesium, um, you're going to have issues getting enough because it's just not in breads and other things like that. Um, even the fortified breads don't have uh, an overwhelming amount of magnesium in there. So it's really hard to get your daily allowance. So a lot of people try to supplement with it. And um, there are so many different types of magnesium and they really have their own specific purposes. You know, sometimes um, probably I feel like uh, people know magnesium oxide uh, the most. Magnesium oxide, uh, you probably just find that at a local drugstore. And that's because people often use that type for um, constipation. So if you have a backed up stool, uh, you'll take magnesium oxide because it's actually magnesium that doesn't get absorbed very well. So what it does is it pulls in water into your um, cavity, into your, uh, your bowels, and it makes it easier for that uh, stool to be released, uh, easing your constipation. So that's why you use magnesium oxide, because it actually sucks at um, absorbing into your body. Instead, it pulls in water into there, and then you can go to the bathroom. So that's one type. Um, but a type that is good for absorption reasons, like to get it actually into your body, is you know uh, natural calm they make a good uh, magnesium and that's because it's a magnesium um, chelate or it's it's a magnesium um, citrate so this magnesium citrate is going to actually be absorbed into your body you can still o uh, od you can still uh, you know take in too much magnesium citrate and it's going to make you go to the bathroom but um, for the most part for um, at least the standard 400 milligrams or 200 milligrams it's gonna be absorbed into your body so this is a good good type natural calm but if you're looking for a specific magnesium to get into a specific part of your body like uh, I know that's there's a magnesium torate which is supposedly supposed to directly go into s things like your heart muscle and things like that because because it's uh, magnesium with taurine connected to it um, which is an amino acid but uh, I don't know all the research on that one maybe I'll, I'll put some information in the description down below but the one that I'm most um, I've got my attention on right now is magnesium 308. So this is a brand, now brand, but uh, the company or the branded magnesium is called Magteen. And that's actually magnesium L308. And the reason why that is so cool is because it promotes brain health and it crosses the blood brain barrier. Now, three and eight is supposedly a vitamin C derivative. Um, so the magnesium is 
is uh, bind to that vitamin C derivative and allowing it to cross that blood brain barrier. Most of the other uh, magnesium supplements like magnesium citrate and other things like that, they do not do a good job of, of crossing that blood brain barrier. And one of the key aspects of, of magnesium is its relationship with the brain. Um, the more magnesium you have in your brain, you actually increase neural synapses or um, neural connections. And um, some of the studies have shown in mice that with magteen or magnesium 3 and 8, you will see more neural connections within just two weeks of supplementing. So I think there needs to be more research done on this specific combination but I think it's very promising. And like I said, I'll put some of those research studies in the links below and uh, where you can buy Magteen. And uh, hopefully you, if you have any interesting stories of magnesium, different types of magnesium and what you've done, um, please share in the comments down below and I'll try to reach out to you and uh, you know, we can conversate about it. So enjoy that little tidbit on magnesium and hopefully you guys are all getting enough. Take care. Bye-bye.